What's good, YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm T. I'm Zara, and today's vlog is Tobag Day 28. This is your day move. Come on. If you didn't know, T's hey, hey, born hey, on the 28th hey, hey. of his month, so that's why I say that's his day. So the video that we're going to be doing today, guys, is things we wish we knew before we got into a, relation to a relationship. Maybe a lot of you guys are in relationships, or maybe you're not, and you just clicked on this video and it's like, wow, what should I know? Or what should I know for my relationship right now? And obviously, we've been together for seven years, almost. Oh my God! But yeah, so we feel like, not that we can give adequate advice, but we can. You know, we're kind of qualified in that department. Type shit, type shit. So the first thing I think we're gonna go in with speaking on is um, effort. I think people think relationships are easy, which they are supposed to be naturally easy, you're supposed to gel, but they do require a lot of effort and maintenance within the relationship. So I think that's whether through love languages, making an effort to love you in your love language and vice versa, or effort in terms of trying to understand your partner or see where things are going. Also, effort in terms of like, you know, showing spontaneous movements, you know what I'm saying? But Having spontaneous ideas is giving effort, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be more funny, trying to be different, trying to show that you know what we don't always have to stick to a strict routine let's switch up and let me throw you up do different things i agree with that because i feel like what happens is a lot of couples tend to get stuck in like a how routine. they are in their, in their routine and yeah. it becomes less fun exactly. so i do think if you do things like that it becomes more like Woo! even with like let's say person a is meant to be cooking every single day until the weekend right you know showing effort could be like you know what you know i got you a b is gonna take over and you know he's gonna cook for you know a couple of the days you know what i'm saying i think effort might be one of the most important things actually to like keep it going mm. so another thing that i feel like everyone should know before they get into a relationship is that you now have this companion you have a best friend you have someone who understands you who loves you and literally just like tolerates all of your behavior and i think that's so amazing like who wouldn't want that do you know what i mean maybe you've been in a past relationship and they have traumatized you fair enough guys but there are beauty in relationships out there that person might not have been right for you but someone else can be guys okay i believe in love i really do can i ask you a question yeah what was you thinking before you got into the relationship like, Ooh. did you have any expectations on how the relationship was gonna go? What you expected? Like, let me know. Talk to me. Talk to me, sis. I feel like my expectations were so wrong of what a relationship's meant to be. Okay. I don't know what I actually expected, but I feel like I just felt like, uh, we probably won't last. Damn! Bruh. Like, I don't know. Damn! Sorry. Just from what I'd seen in relationships is what I was taking in in my head. So my expectations weren't actually real. So what, what chances did I actually have? Honestly, <laughs> at this point, what chances did I have? I don't know. Oh my God. I was very young. Can you see what I was up against? Zero chances. Yeah, but did you see like, Oh you? my. We made it. God. We made it, we made it. Woo. But yeah, I do think that you should just know that having a companion and a best friend is really nice to have, I think. It's, it's something underrated. It's like a, it's just a care that, and a bond that you just don't have with a lot of people. So, it's special, guys. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, having someone that is your companion that you know is basically going to be by your side regardless what you go through. Mm. And that has great intentions for you. That's yeah. something that, you know, that's your backbone. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, that's your spine. Bruh. Your leg. Yeah, but like that's you and another person that can see life in a different lens that you may potentially oh, need. I like that perspective. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like that's very powerful. Guys, pick your partners wisely because this is someone who can become very, yeah. very special to you. So yeah. pick them wisely. Very think. Yeah. Think, guys. Don't just chase for that best friend companion. Analyze, yeah? Analyze, look to the future. Are they gonna be a good wife? Did they look after you? Did they do this, you know? Or maybe they can grow, you know? That's people can grow, I do believe that. Another thing I think that's important that I didn't know is that I think when you go into a relationship, you should treat it like you are one. I think I thought that only marriage is like that. You become only, mm. you are one when you're married. But I think if mm. you go into that mindset in a relationship like that, 
it will be much better and i wish someone actually told me that because i think it would have been way more like oh mm. you're right you know you're yeah. actually very right yeah because if you make decisions for the both of you not just for yourself it has better outcomes and indeed. yeah that's something that i just had to learn not gonna lie indeed and also kind of like on that topic of you becoming one mm. like your actions are going to be reflected back onto you do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, let's say you're not putting in enough effort, keyword, you know how effort comes back into this? Yeah. <laughs> that effort is going to be reflected back onto you. So if, if you're giving like 5%, mm -hmm. that person's only going to res be receiving 5% to give back to you. Like, okay. you see what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, no, I'm understanding, yeah. So you guys have to remember that you guys are a unit. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, regardless of who's doing what, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that everyone's giving 100% so you guys are pushing more than 200%. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Don't just think that's for marriage. I feel like that's what I thought and that's what society kind of makes it seem like because obviously your vows are like, you're one, you're this, mm. you're that. But if you go in that mindset for a relationship, it's really good, guys, trust me. Compromise this shit. Okay, okay. Because in that, with the goals that you have, you might need to compromise with each other. Like, if you wanted to move to Dubai and I wanted to move to, I wanted to stay in London, for example, we're gonna have yeah. to do some sort of compromise. We'll do one year Dubai back to the UK or something. Yeah. Like, there is a lot of compromise that you need to make within a relationship. Compromisation, it, it interlinks with everything that is important in a relationship mm. because it allows everyone to be heard. Okay. It allows everyone to feel worthy in a sense because it's like let's say let's say you guys are always disagreeing on you guys won't be open to the best solution because you guys don't know how to make negotiations or compromise. I think don't think of it as like oh, I have to compromise with this person because either way throughout the whole relationship you're gonna have to make compromises on both sides. You get it. So both people will compromise at a point in time. So just you know do what you can don't make a compromise too big if that's like your purpose like my purpose that i feel like i love to do in the future is travel if t told me he never wants to travel we probably can't be together because that's something that's really important to me so you know it's in, it's also within reason do you know what i mean mm. yeah. i don't just compromise because you're lowering your value compromise because you guys are growing your values i don't know if they'll understand that until you're in a relationship that one because that was important i wish i knew that before as well because that comes into accepting someone do you know what i mean it comes into accepting maybe habits that they might have and things that they might have because you know no one's perfect and you're two different people raised differently different households so it's just like you gotta accept and love you remember why you love that person you can't just judge them off of that one single thing and i think i needed that there's a lot of things i wish i was told can't i yeah. a lot so we're here guys as your little guidances to help you guys you know have a little bit of guidance that maybe i didn't have or you didn't have why are you laughing <laughs> guidances <laughs> You know, because I'm the older sibling, T isn't the older sibling actually, you have older siblings. Getting into a relationship allows you to see a different side to yourself. So let me give myself an explanation. I would say when we first got into this relationship, I was very, a bit cold, not too affectionate, caring, like I was just like, like I don't know, stuck up sadly. Obviously, I was still a bit like that at the beginning of the relationship, but as I got into it, I got to see, wow, I do have a really caring side. I do have a really loving side. I can be very affectionate. It just needed unlocking or I don't know what it needed. A key just opened and it's like when you get comfortable with someone, it's like, oh, I want to do that. And yeah, so it allows you to see deeper, different sides of yourself. And I think that's amazing. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Like just that alone, I feel like I made her able to see that side of herself. Did I make you see different sides of yourself? Um, yeah, for sure. For sure, like, like, just in terms of like what you taught me and what I know that is possible with certain lessons that you have showed me. Um, me feeling comfortable. A lot of people are not comfortable within within themselves like right. do you know what i mean okay. and i feel like the only way they actually become comfortable when they know someone actually loves them for them right wow i'll be dropping those gems wow. mate yeah sure also one thing i also do want to say i feel like there are some people who believe who believe they're like mm, no i'm not made for love or like Ugh, no hug someone i wouldn't do that or kiss someone i wouldn't do that trust me when you get into a relationship guys you'll be a different person trust me 
I'll tell you that for a fact, because there's so many people I know like that, then, oh, relationship, oh, how are you? Oh, yes, no, I love a cuddle, I love to do this, I love to do But there are some people who genuinely don't like to cuddle, and I, uh, I get that, but yeah, I'm just saying. And yeah, the obvious fact is that, you know, you have someone that you can create memories with, do things that you want to do. I think creating memories for us is, like, top tier. Because the other day, we was looking at our old SD card, and we was looking at the videos on the camera and we was just like oh my gosh we've done so much you remember when we did that remember when we did that like, we have so many memories and that's why also youtube is like we're grateful for it because we can just scroll back and just be like oh my yeah. god we did that we did that we did that we did that so that's amazing as well would you recommend a couple making a youtube channel they can make it private mm. and just like upload their videos and just have something where your memories are stored ah. and you can show your kids that and that's cool that is actually good so guys we hope you enjoyed that video we hope we guided you we gave you some insight or understanding into what is what you should know for when you get into a relationship or when you're in a relationship um let us know down below if you guys are in relationships or not we'd love to know like i'm a bit nosy that i just want to know what my subscribers are are doing and like you know um and with that being said guys make sure you like the video make sure you comment make sure you subscribe make sure you just keep watching and support us guys make sure you guys smash that like button we love you we appreciate every single one that's made it this far and also vlogtober is coming to an end guys there are 27 other videos you can watch of us this month okay we've got a lot of content for you so please go watch them and we love you guys we are peace, peace.